Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the shore. And to say things got weird in the last episode would definitely be an understatement, guys. We went from exploring the uh, shore to try and find our daughter and all the weird stuff that we saw along the way to Andrew has a deformed hand and is now carrying a laser shooting black tentacled pyramid. So, uh, yeah, that definitely escalated quickly. I definitely uh, recommend checking out that last episode if you haven't, because it's very hard to describe. But the uh, disembodied voice, at least one of them, has told us to head back down to the shore and free him, whoever that is. And um, I think that we are definitely dealing with a battle of wills between... From what I'm guessing, I would say Cthulhu and Naralithotep. That that's my shot that I'm calling, because Naralithotep, um, they keep on they mentioned the crawling chaos, and that was definitely one of uh, Naralithotep's nicknames. And oh lord, that has to be Dagon. Okay, this this is taking an interesting turn. Is that who we're supposed to free? That can't be Cthulhu. We've already seen him in the game, and he did not look like that. He looked more like uh, Cthulhu Classic. I'm making sure that we don't have anyone suddenly try and jump up and attack us. I mean, we've got the, the laser pyramid now. Whatever this thing's supposed to be. But I'm I'm just very curious where the story's going to go from here and how it revolves around Andrew's daughter. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I mean, I haven't really been looking forward to any of it, to tell you the God's honest, but... That monolith is not moving. Is that still in the ocean? Oh, it is still in the ocean. It's a second monolith. Either that or the one... Oh, no, wait. It's swaying back and forth. So it literally stopped here. Interesting. All right. The seagulls seem to be a good clue that we're on the right track. I do kind of want to shoot a seagull, though. I won't, though. That would be mean. And there's enough mean things on this island anyway. Okay, we still we have a ton of shipwrecks. Good lord, how many people died on this island? And there's that thing. And I, I highly doubt we can go... Yeah, past these points. Yeah, this is just for... Just for show... Interesting. So are we going to have to fight this thing? One of the reasons I, I'm trying to refrain from running because I don't want to miss any like little Easter egg or themes that the game seems to want to throw at us. I do miss the lighthouse though. I miss the lighthouse quite a bit. Why can't I go this way? Oh, well, that's weird. Okay, I guess underneath the the arch. Ah, okay. Here we go. Yeah, that's either Dagon or Hydra. It's just a huge deep one and looks very similar to the thing that we ran from. And it is very much alive. And a Dungeons and Dragons player. Nice. So I would bet we have to find some way to... Got to use the laser here. Oh, it's got a certain range to it. Okay. But it looks like there are walkways. We just have to find them. Interesting. 
Interesting. Oh, okay, I see. I lost my pyramid. Maybe it's being channeled through. Do we have to put that with the D20? I think it's a D20. Could be a D12. Let's see. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's eh, more or less. Wait, that's five. Oh, no, that's a D12. I have a feeling we're going to roll a one on this. So let's see if we can find the bridge that'll take us over here. And we can't actually activate any of these yet. Okay, so what do I do? with the glowing orb. Is there anywhere specific? I'm not seeing any kind of place to put it. Excuse me. Do you know what I do with this? Okay, thank you. Look on the ground, see if there's any kind of slot for it. I mean, I see these these circular holes, but I don't think that that's the case. And I'm actually clicking. Here, let me look at my... Oh, we've lost everything. All of our inventory is gone. Awesome! I did not know that. Thank you, Andrew. That's good Good to know. Does it have to do with the arch, maybe? No? Hmm. I am confuzzled. Oh, wait, there we go. What did we just do there? Is that is that basically just how we get rid of it? And we power it up. And get rid of it through there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that orb again. Double check and see if it can't be put over there. Let's try the other side. It's progress of a sort. It's interesting that of all the places, it could go right there. I still feel like there's something that has to do with... Oh, okay, the eyes are lit up. That's a good sign. I see now. That's power. Okay. It does have something to do with... Do we have to get both of them lit up, though? No, just on this side, apparently. I'm okay with that. We're figuring it out. Okay, and both eyes have been 
lit there. Didn't look like I could actually. Oh. All right. Both eyes are delivered. This is not going to have be a fun time when Dagon's released. Dagon is essentially like Cthulhu's biggest worshiper, both in a literal and figurative sense, at least on this planet. Oh, I guess I should go ahead and just target the eyeballs directly, can't I? That would make too much sense. Let's see if there's anything else that we need this for. Oh. Okay, they both shot this. And then it goes there. Ah. Interesting. Well, that obelisk is free. Alright, that is powered, that is powered. Let's head back to the D20, where we will inevitably roll a 1, I assume. Do I need to shoot this thing? Hi. <laughs> so, how long you been in for? Sure, I'll stand here. What could go wrong? I hope you two are very happy together. Jeez, Dagon riding his obelisk into battle, <laughs> into the horizon. Um, not anything I thought that I would see. <laughs> Is he just going to hang out now when the obelisk patrols around the island? Because that would be incredible. Oh. And our D... Our dice went away. Oh, there was Dagon, and achievement just got unlocked. Well, we're definitely, um, as we head through the Doctor Who portal again, we're definitely doing Cthulhu's will here. Great. And we're back. Oh. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Phalanges. They are unpleasant. Let's try that again. So what are we doing here? <coughs> so 
So don't hit that one. Nowhere to run. Hmm. All right, you're not going to hit us unless you get, like, irritated. <laughs> oh, never mind. I stand corrected. Hmm. So, how do we go about this? Do we just have to very quickly proc all of these? By our powers combined? <coughs> no. But they inter they kind of intersect each other. So I'm wondering what that's all about. Do 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 expect to see a little TARDIS fly by. Okay, and that's just get gets them angry. So maybe we have to go full Care Bear Stare. Hit all three of those and then uh, use our own blast on it. Before we do that though, I'm going to double check and make sure that there is nothing else that we need to activate. Nope. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. I see. I see what we got to do now. We have to make sure that we do not hit him at all with the laser. Otherwise, he gets very upset and kills us. So, let's go. Boop. I get there eventually, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's something. Ow. Don't cross the streams. Good safety tip. Thanks, Egon. <coughs> so, what are we doing here? Obviously, it's summoning that rune. Or whatever it is, but still hitting the big guy is not advisable. Maybe what we need to do... Whoa! Oh, whoops. Oh, I have to do it really quick, don't I? So I may just need to go right next to the tentacles to activate everything. Sorry for the spam loading screens, but... Alright. Crap. So, <clears throat> maybe a particular angle we have to go with? Alright. I mean, we've done this. This is great. This is progress of a sort. So what do we do here now? Ow. It looks like it's changing color though. Nope, never mind. Is there an angle where I can shoot this thing without upsetting? There we go. Walk toward the light. Cool. And what are you? 
Oh, that's a... Haunter? Maybe? Oh, I just realized there are skulls everywhere. Hello, skulls! Do we hit you? No. Oh. Hi. Oh, do we give you a head? Did you not want that one? Oh, I thought they were all going to start crawling toward me. I'm like, oh, no. Do I have to find the right one? I'm hearing stuff. Oh, this is like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Yeah, that's exactly. We have to find the right one. So is there one that's different than all the others? Can we find it? Oh man, them just like groaning reminds me of uh, what dreams may come. Oh, you're talking. I guess they start talking after we drop them. Maybe that. Stop getting louder. I'm not sure which one. None of them seem to have, like, any kind of difference between them. Not that I can see. Wait, do I need to laser this? <laughs> Find one that screams out? <laughs> like, hey! guys. I mean, we're definitely narrowing it down. We just need to try all the heads. Not that one. There has to be something to differentiate them. I'm just not... Oh, that one is very bright. So now we can just pick them up randomly. Oh, there you are. Aha! There's the rune that we can shoot. Yeah, I'm not a fan of your wallpaper. Let's just stick in the middle here. Thanks. Order to proceed. We will need one of my many forms. That that's Narlithotep. That is definitely narrow at the tip. Okay, so all these have runes. I definitely don't want to hit the big guy. So let's see. I don't know if we have to do this in a particular order or not. I'm not gonna 
I'm going to assume when it's shining like right in my face, we're on the right track. Thanks for the warning. Appreciate you. So let's see what Cthulhu's subconscious mind looks like. I bet there's tentacles. There's tentacles. Okay, and it's fast. It is so fast. We can't care bear stare it. Oh, we can. Thank you. Don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. Okay, that's I was just over there. Let's try it this way. Okay, this is where he was hanging out beforehand. Oh lord. Wait. Oh, this is where I came from. Yep, we're about to die. <laughs> I thought I was doing so well. I was not. So help me if we had to go back to all of that. I was going to be like, no, not today. Okay, let's do this. Wait for you to turn the corner, and I assume that's the direction we have to go. Yeah, that's going to lead just right back to where we were. So I'm going to go this way. To this door. So it's a little bit of a maze. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Are you still following me? Paralysis demon? Ooh. Oh, dear. In his house of Riley, Great Cthulhu Dreams. I don't know, folks, is this a good idea? These are like his star children. And worshippers. He starts out small, but he gets really big if he wants to. You know, this looks like a perfect place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, at the beginning of the next episode, we will wake up Great Cthulhu and uh, see where the story goes from here. I don't know if this is the end of the game. It would, you know what? We, we actually have to do that, don't we? Because I don't know if this is the end of the game. Hi. Big fan of your work.
Okay, I'm glad I didn't end the episode. Are we back on the shore? Great. All right, guys. Well, um, we have awakened Cthulhu. We have awakened Dagon. We're just waking up the entire pantheon of great old ones. And apparently this is going to be at, at Narlithotep's command. Or maybe it could be he who shall not be named. Still don't know what exactly is going on here. but And I don't think we're going to find out. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.